Howdy! In this part of the DVD we are going to do Because He Lives. And we're going to do just the vocabulary. There won't be any singing in this. Uh, I couldn't sing it slow enough and give the vocabulary. So here we go. Because He Lives. Alright? It's a beautiful song. And it, especially in the light of things that have happened here recently, this is an extremely powerful song. Because He Lives. I can face tomorrow. And that's the fears are gone. Feel that as you're learning to sign this song and show that you have learned it when you get there to LTC. All right, here we go. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. Now we're going to go through this in sentences or phrases as opposed to individual words. If you learn it in sentences and phrases, it'll flow. If you learn it in words, your signs will be choppy. See what I'm trying to say there? So let's practice this as if this whole sentence was one big long sign. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. All right. God is like your hand going out, going up, and then coming down. God sent. It's like, uh, you know, a Pinewood Derby, and you got the car here, and you give it a little push. Sent. His. Now, in sign language, God actually does have a place to live. I know he lives everywhere around us, but in sign language, he lives right there. Okay? And so we can always point, and that's God. We can point, and that's Jesus, actually. We can point with a pointer. We can point with an open hand. Either way, God lives there, okay? So when we start using the pronoun of him as referring to God, we'll just do his son. It's kind of like a baseball cap, like you're going to tip a baseball cap and then come down to a baby. This is what this kind of like. Son. Okay. They. And they here isn't talking about anybody in particular. Um, it could be the mom. It could be Mary. It could be Joseph. It could be the angel. It could be God. It could be who knows. All, all those had a role in naming him Jesus. So we're just going to go they. All those folks out there, whoever they happen to be, the ubiquitous they, uh, called him Jesus. Named. This is a sign for name. Okay. It's kind of uh, two Cub Scout symbols. Kind of come down. That's a sign for name. Name duh is a name that's given. Okay. They called or named him Jesus. And G. We're not going to spell it out. We're just going to sign it, Jesus. And it's the center finger pointed to the, where the nail marks would have gone in. He came to love, heal, and forgive. He came. Why? Love, heal, forgive. Okay? Now, we're doing a little bit of something there where uh, it's not straight English, okay? He came to, normally we would just kind of leave the word to out. Uh, he came, love, heal, forgive, but we lost something a little bit there. He came, why did he come? And it's the center finger here, touching the head. And coming out and being down. Okay, why or why? Both signs are correct. If you know either one of those, it's either way is right. You can also point to your head and come down into a Y hand. But you need to put a question mark on your face to do this. Okay. He came. Why? Love, heal, and forgive. 
And we, if you want to put the word and in there, and I might accidentally do that if I do this real slow, and, okay, it's an open palm with all the fingers spread out, coming together where all the fingers are together. Okay? Love, like you're holding your teddy bear. Heal, take hold and be strong. Heel. I'll do that sideways so you can see it a little bit better. Heel. And forgive. It's like, here's all the list of things that you did wrong. Hold on. Isn't that kind of nice? I like that. Uh, he lived and died to buy my pardon. He lived and died. Why? By my forgiveness. Pardon, forgiveness, same thing. Okay? He lived. It's just L hands coming from the belt up. He lived. And. <coughs> sorry. Died. He's standing up. <laughs> Dead. Okay? Died. He lived and died. Why? Buy. I have money here. I'm going to give it to you. I bought something. My. In sign language, the open palm shows ownership. So it's mine and yours and his. God's. Hers. It, it's kind of directional. My pardon. The empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. We're going to leave out the, all right? Empty, it's kind of like, this, again, that center finger is down. Touch your wrist and just kind of run up the other finger to the end of the other finger. Empty. Uh, happens to also be the same sign as naked, but that doesn't make sense in this song. All right, anyway, that's just for fun. Empty, grave, okay? It's kind of like, I don't know a better way to, to tell you than to just do it. This hand kind of rolls up and this hand kind of covers it at the same time. An empty grave is there. Where? Somewhere over there. There. To prove my Savior lives. Proves my Savior lives. Okay? Proves. I've got the facts, man. The facts are right there. I don't make the big slapping noise, but you get the point. Prove my Savior. In sign language, it's a sign for save. Okay? And if we put this at the end of it, it does what I call occupationalizes. It makes it a person that does that. So if I were a boat person, I'd be a sailor. If I were a save person, I'd be a savior lives. How sweet to hold a newborn baby. Now that's going to be a little bit of a tongue twister, a hand twister if you want to think of it that way, because the hand's doing a whole lot of stuff there. Okay. How? Now, the word how is, um, it's a question. But there's no question being asked here. Think about that for just a second. The word how here isn't asking a question. It's saying, wow, how big, cruelly. Okay, so we're, it's an emphasis. It's an odd use of a word to emphasize. Okay, so how sweet? Not asking how sweet. No, it's asking, it's saying whoa, really sweet, is what it's saying. So we're going to sign that as truly. Do it sideways. It's the finger kind of at your chin and just comes out truly. Okay. How sweet? And uh, this is the wiping the cotton candy off of your chin. 
Nothing sweeter than cotton candy. All right. So how sweet to hold a newborn baby. To hold. Okay. You're just going to take it and you're going to hold it. Pretend, pretend you actually have a baby here. All right. Hold a new. And I'm going to come with this side so you can see it. It's kind of the knuckles hitting the palm of the hand. New. I'm going to do the whole thing sideways so that you can see it, see it better, all right? A new born baby. All right? Notice the left hand didn't do a whole lot. It stayed still. New born baby. The only time it moved is when we started rocking the baby. New born baby. Okay? So how sweet to hold a new born baby. Got it? Hope so. And feel the pride and joy he gives. And it's an open palm, kind of going to where all fingers. And feel. In sign language, that finger there pointed towards something is an emotion of a feeling of some sort. I feel a pity. Uh, joyful? Down. Okay? So, if you ever see that out, just for a clue, uh, it has nothing to do with the song, but as a clue, that has nothing to do with a feeling somehow. Okay? Um... Okay, so feel the pride. Almost forgot where I was at there for a second. Pride. It's thumbs. Look at me. I'm the one. Pride. Uh, the song there was free. And joy. See, there's that center finger again. Joy. He gives. All right. We did something there a little different too than what you probably would have expected. Instead of doing he or he or he or whatever, it's the baby. In the mind's eye, the baby is still here. We're still holding that sweet newborn baby. Okay? So, we're just going to sign the sign for baby instead of he. Okay? Uh, gives. And it's here. I've got it in my hand. I'm going to give it to you. No, 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 no. You're going to give it to me. So, it's directional. Give to you, give to me. So it gives to me in this case. But greater still, the calm assurance. Alright? But, uh, the joke that a friend of mine told me, that it's a deaf joke. You know, a man went up to railroad station, uh, railroad crossing, and the, the, turn, the, the arm things were down. So he went up and he, he told the guy, please but, please but, I go, what? What? You know, please, but. Lift up the little turnstile. You have to be deaf to get it, I guess. Anyway, but. You'll never forget that sign now, right? But, uh, greater still the calm assurance. Greater still. Okay. Great. It's the letter G, Texas G's. Made big, going out. All right, and the song here kind of builds a little bit. So let's, you know, it's okay to bend your knees and make it great. You can do great. Is there a difference between great and great? Okay. So, uh, but greater. And this is a sign for ist, or er. It's two A hands, and the, the right A hand comes up, touches the knuckles of the other A hand, and keeps going. Greater, still. You can do still, or you can do still. But none of those really, this is like continuing. And this is like continuing as well. Um, greater, still, he's saying more. Think about what's being said here. 
when you're interpreting, you're not interpreting words, you're interpreting meanings. Okay, and so we're going to interpret the meaning here, just like we did on how, uh, just like we did on to. Okay, we're going to interpret the meaning here, and it's going to be more. Okay, but greater still, the calm assurance. The calm assurance. All right, the peaceful knowledge. It's kind of like you're coming up into a prayer and then spreading it out. Prayer followed by calm nothingness. Peace. Okay? And knowledge. It's a point to your head. Assurance. No, I know that. This child can face uncertain days because he lives. This child can face uncertain days because he lives. This child, again, we still have him in our arms, so let's just rock on a little bit more. This child can, this is the yes hand, this is yes, this is no, so yes, two yeses is can do, okay? Can face uncertain days, face. There's somebody and this is me and we're face to face. Face. This is the no. This is the I don't know. Okay. Face uncertain. I don't know. Days. This is following the sun across the sky. Uncertain days because he lives. And then we have the chorus again. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. All fear is gone. Did we do that? I don't think we did that. Let's do that. Because it's kind of like wiping the, the sweat off of your forehead. I'm sorry. I think I missed the chorus going through the first time through here. Because he lives. Like wipe, wiping the sweat and then coming up. Because he lives. I, just point to yourself, I can face tomorrow, face tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow is a, a hand at the chin, just kind of making a little tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. So because he lives, all. Make a hat on top of your hand kind of circle it around and land inside there. But they really do it together. Both hands twiddle. It, the best word I can come up with. They, they twiddle each other. But you start on the top and you wind up in the palm. All fears. It starts off with hands with the, like you're ready to, you're ready to do that, okay? So get your fingers ready to snap out. Fear. Fear. It's kind of like when you've walked into a dark room and the house is quiet and you know you're the only one there and the, your brother comes up behind you and grabs you by the shoulder and you go, ah! That's, that, that's what the sign comes from. All that adrenaline rushing in front of you. Okay? Because he lives, all fear is gone. And I love the way that signs out. Because you got... Fear, and the fear needs to be on your face as well. And everything relaxes and disappears. You see that? And you start with your little finger, and you kind of run through your fingers, and like a magician, it's gone. But your whole body is tense, and then it disappears. Okay? It's gone. Because I know... He holds the future. Because, we already knew that one. I, we know that one. No, He holds. Let's, let's sign that a little bit differently. Holds. Okay. 
take it together like you're going to come together and climb up a pole. Okay, pretend there's a pole there, and you come there and grab that pole. He holds the future. It's coming past your ear, and then bouncing and bouncing. The future. Because he holds the future. And life is the same sign it lives. Okay. Life is, with the letter I coming off the chin, is uh, worth the living just because he lives. Life is worth. And it's two F hands starting down here, coming up and coming together there. Okay? Worth the living, you know that sign, just. And it's not just a J, it is just. Just. All right? You got to get that bounce in there too, because it's not just just because he lives, it's just because he lives. All right. Okay, now we've done the chorus. Sorry about that confusion of this thing here. Okay, last verse. And then one day I'll cross that river. And then one day I'll cross the river. Okay. And I think we've already covered and. Then it's on your thumb. And then it's on your finger tip. It's on your tongue, your th thumb tip, and then your finger tip. Okay? Uh, all of a sudden I have forgotten how to speak. Thumb, finger, then. Uh, and then one, just put the number one in the air, day. Okay? One day. I will. The word is I'll. In sign language, there are no contractions. We have to decontract things. So, one day I will cross. Here's the river. Here's actually anything that you want to cross. But we build it up here and then we just kind of build a bridge over it. We cross the river. And I think it's important that, that you built the river here, that your river kind of then follows the same direction of what was there, showing that this, what you built, was a river. Okay? And river is just ours, kind of going up and down. Anytime you see up and down like this, you're going to think of water in some fashion. With ours, um, it's river, in English anyway. Okay? So one day, I'll cross that river. I'll fight life's final war with pain. I'll fight. It's like getting ready to fight. Fight life's final. And it's just the little fingers kind of touching the tips as you come down. Final war. And it's W's kind of going at each other. War with. And you just two A hands coming together with. Pain. Okay? Pain, the way I think about pain is kind of silly. You've seen the Chinese uh, handcuffs where you kind of stick your fingers in and the harder you pull, it, the tighter it gets. Well, if you put them on this way and then you try to twist your hand, oh, that's going to break your fingers. It's going to hurt. Pain. Um, and then death gives way to victory. And... Then, we've already covered all those, as, okay, it's fingers together out here, come a little bit of a circle, and fingers together again here. I'm going to do it in this plane so you can see what I'm doing. All right? So you have them together here, they come together, like a circle, and they come back together. It's kind of like the same here as they are here. Okay? Uh, and then, as death Gives way to victory. Gives way to victory. What is that saying? Death 
which seems to be not victory, becomes victory. Right? Is that what the author is trying to say? Again, we're interpreting the meaning, not the words. So, then as death becomes victory. Becomes. Kind of put your hands together in a pancake and you kind of rotate them until they're, they're the opposite. Becomes victory. And shoot the V circling in the air. Kind of like the old, you know, the victory flag, wave in the victory flag. Victory. Okay. Um, I'll see the lights of glory and I'll know he reigns. Okay. I'll, we already talked about how to do that, see, point to the eye and then take out and you have two eyes. See, it was, it was, it was kind of neat. Uh, your eyes aren't on your head. Your eyes are on the tips of your fingertips. So it's really easy to look up and look down, look around corners, look on top of the refrigerator. Uh, whatever you needed to do, you can do, you can peek. So kind of fun. Those are your eyes. Just fun. All right. Uh, I'll see the lights. Kind of like car lights are on and they're blinking. Okay. But here we see the lights of glory. And it's kind of like hit and then shimmer off. Hit and then shimmer. The heights of glory. And I'll know he reigns. All right. This is like sitting in a horse and buggy and you're pulling on the reins. You're controlling the horse to go this way or that way. Okay. And... That's pretty much the, the song. I won't go through the chorus again. I only forgot it once. But the chorus comes up three different times and it's always the same chorus. So go through this and uh, figure out what it is that you don't know and what you do know. Practice and get to where you know all the signs and not in individual words. I really can't stress that enough. Do it in phrases. If you do it in phrases, it'll help you all the way down. One, it'll help you remember it. Two, it'll make you look smooth and look like you know what you're doing. And by the time you get there, you should know what you're doing. Looking forward to seeing you there. You have a wonderful time practicing with this. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give me a call and ask. Look on the website. I can be found there as well. All right. Looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Good luck.